Most people ignore this about cancer, but they really shouldn't. Cancer, a disease in which abnormal cells divide uncontrollably and destroy body tissues, kills more than half a million people a year in the United States alone, making cancer the second leading cause of death in the country. Increased only by heart disease, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC). Many factors play a role in why so many people develop the disease in the first place, many of which can be completely controlled. However, Dr. Basu, Director of Hematology and Oncology, says, We take more care of our vehicles than the bodies outside, and there are still many misconceptions about the situation. In today's video, we will share with you the 16 things doctors wish you knew about cancer. Number 1. Why are you still smoking? Dr. Basu says that if there is one attitude that increases the risk of cancer the most, it is smoking. Some factors are out of your control, such as genes and exposure to toxic chemicals in the environment, but what you do is entirely up to you. Considering what it does to the body and how it increases the risk of cancer and heart disease, there is no reason for any of the world's two leading killers to continue smoking. Number 2. Cancer is not one disease Dr. Basu says that it is a combination of different diseases, like heart disease, so there is no cure. Different cancers affect different cells in the body and require different treatments. Some are more powerful than others, and it often depends on how quickly you catch it. Do you find this video interesting so far? Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and ring the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Number 3. Cancer doesn't mean low quality of life. Dr. Basu says that unlike what you see in movies, the treatment of many cancers these days is very tolerable. Some patients do not even lose hair, chemotherapy can be just a pill, and women will not need a mastectomy if the cancer is caught early. You need to know what type you have and be open about how it can be treated, he added. Number 4. Cancer doesn't need to be cured Dr. Basu says that not all cancers need to be removed for the patient to recover. It's like diabetes. There is no cure, but if you manage the disease, you don't have to suffer and you can live a happy and healthy life. Multiple myeloma, a cancer of the plasma cells, is an example, he added. It's not, if I'm not well, I'm done. It's a middle ground. Number 5. More people survive than die of cancer. Dr. Basu says it depends on the type of cancer, but overall, more people defeat or manage it over a longer period than die from it. We do very well with normal cancer, for example, breast and colon cancer. The average survival rate for women with breast cancer is 90%. And according to the American Cancer Society, the 5-year relative survival rate for people with stage 1 colon cancer is about 92%. Number 6. Cancer patients live much longer than in the past. Dr. Basu says the same is true with severe cancer. This is due to newer and better treatments, as well as better tests, which have made it possible to detect some tumors at an early stage. Dr. Basu adds that there are also various screening programs for people who are at risk for cancer due to their family history. Number 7. Some cancers are caused by viruses. Research shows that viruses make up about 20% of all human cancer cases. Epstein-Barr virus EBV, can cause some types of lymphoma, says Dr. Basu. He added that human papillomavirus HPV, is known to cause cervical cancer, but it can also cause neck and head cancer. Many people don't know that a lot of HIV-positive people in the 80s developed different types of cancer. People with weakened immune systems are more prone to cancer. Number 8. Many treatments simply control the cancer Dr. Basu says that most people consider chemotherapy to be an IV drug with toxic side effects. It could just be like a bullet. There are many agents planned to control the spread of cancer, but they are unable to kill it. For example, chronic myeloid leukemia CLM, a type of slowly growing blood cell cancer that starts in the bone marrow, cannot be cured unless you have a bone marrow transplant. Some pills do not treat leukemia permanently, but can control the spread of cancer cells. Number 9. Why is cancer so hard to beat? Dr. Basu says, cancer is basically your own body that changes itself. Inside the body, there is a polishing function that is activated when cells are damaged. 
The cells of the immune system usually get rid of the bad cells. However, sometimes the immune system doesn't allow them, because the body is prepared to not attack its own cells. Sometimes, by the time symptoms appear, cancer has spread too far, and little can be done to control or treat it. Number 10. Few cancers are diagnosed by chance. Dr. Basu says, Unfortunately, most people come to us after seeing the symptoms for a while. Ideally, people will pay more attention to their health and go for annual checkups, during which blood work and tests may reveal irregularities that can be investigated. The sooner you will feel better from cancer. Number 11. Some cancers have strong family associations. Dr. Basu says that if a family member has cancer, you must check with your doctor, and if you need to be screened first, it will be recommended. In some cases, cancer may be caused by an abnormal gene that is inherited, although it may or may not cause cancer. However, keep in mind the fact that breast and colon cancer, for example, have a strong familial affiliation, says Dr. Basu. Number 12. The overall cancer death rate has fallen over the years. According to the National Cancer Institute, it dropped by 25% between 1990 and 2014. A review of SEER cancer statistics released in April 2018 shows that the cancer mortality rate was 1.8% in men from 2006 to 2015, 1.4% in women from 2006 to 2015, and 1.4% in children annually 19 years of age from 2011 to 2015. Number 13. Skin cancers are increasingly being found in young people. People with a family history of skin cancer and multiple atypical moles are at higher risk. Also, the older you get, the more likely you are to develop skin cancer due to the accumulation of UV radiation. But skin cancer is on the rise in young people. According to Dr. Elizabeth Hale, a board-certified dermatologist, the idea is that they are spending more time outside. Weakened immune systems, genetics, and chronic dermatitis are also risk factors. Number 14. Suntan booths are dangerous. They are strangely dangerous and unfortunately very popular, said Dr. Hale. By using tanning beds and lamps, you are opening your skin to ultraviolet radiation. Before you turn 35, you increase your chances of skin cancer by 75%. Each session adds an additional 20% to that. These areas are very sensitive and prone to skin cancer. Number 15. Obesity is a huge risk factor. He's also got rid of smoking, said Dr. Nita Lee of the University of Chicago Madison. He added that a large proportion of breast and cervical cancers are associated with obesity in particular. Overweight and obesity-related cancers account for 40% of diagnosed cancers in the United States, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. Number 16. Nutritional deficiencies increase the risk. According to the National Cancer Institute, studies have shown that whether the amount of vitamin D is high or the blood level of vitamin D is high, the risk of certain cancers is low. The cancers for which most human data is available are colorectal, breast, prostate, and pancreatic cancers. Research shows that vitamin D acts as an anti-tumor agent by controlling the genes involved in the spread of cancer cells. Another important mineral is calcium. Some evidence suggests that men and women who had high levels of calcium had a lower risk of developing some cancers. Doctors wish you would know the above-mentioned things about cancer, and the myths about how cancer starts and spreads should be debunked. The wrong ideas about cancer can cause unnecessary worry, delay diagnosis, and affect treatment results. Did you find this video helpful or informative? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Don't forget to like and share. Stay healthy!